The old gas axe is a pretty handy tool. There's a lot of tricks to it too, but what if you don't want to even get into those tricks? You just need to learn the basics. This video right here is how we're going to cut out all the mistakes with your cutting torch. Crack the valve, light the torch, turn it up till you don't see any smoke anymore. Turn the oxygen slow. Once you start getting close, go ahead and hit that lever. There, set, we're ready to cut. All right, now for some fundamentals. We're starting your cut, right? We want to get everything nice and warm on the edge. If you're working on some thicker metal, I would say anything thicker than a quarter of an inch, probably give it a little bit of preheat. It's not going to hurt. I would say no preheat on a material can make for a much rougher cut. Now, one thing you don't want to do, if you want a nice face full of metal, get to that edge of that cut where you want and get too much of that plate. We want to get just the edge of that sucker nice and warm if we're coming in from the edge. So if we come in almost a whole torch width and try to punch into that, it's more likely you're going to get a face full. All you need to do is get that little edge started and you can cut. Now, just like welding, torch cutting, you need to maintain a height, a travel speed, a work angle, all those things. Same thing with restarting. We want a proper restart. We're going to go right where we stop. I would say that we're going to be trying to keep this piece of metal so we can damage this one and then work back onto our line. Get this side of that kerf hot, punch back in, do all the damage over here, and come in with your proper torch angle and travel speed. 